Digital Asset Management, or DAM, is a critical part of the publishing process for organizations around the world. DAM software has been evolving since the early DAMs of the 1990s and has in the past decade attained maturity. What is a DAM? Expert Teresa Regley has put it, the management of digital media throughout its lifetime is the general domain of digital asset management, or DAM. From a user perspective, a DAM is a place that members of an organization can find their digital asset. But what is a real DAM? When she goes into more detail, Teresa identifies 10 core ways that a robust DAM system manages digital assets. It must ingest, secure, store, transform, enrich, relate, find, process, preview, and publish the digital assets that it manages. Most current DAM software meets these requirements. Yet there are very different types of DAM, and different perspectives can help determine the right type of DAM for a given organization. One perspective is where it is hosted. On-premise DAMs will reside on a local network within a building, while cloud-based DAMs live on virtual servers in a cloud infrastructure. Another perspective is organization type. A two-person design team will have very different needs than a global, large-scale enterprise. A life sciences organization will have very different needs than an ad agency. Asset management has a natural life cycle and while most DAMs support the entire cycle, some have more focus on a specific phase in the lifetime of an asset. Consider creation versus publishing. At the authoring or creation phase, there may be complex review and approval workflows that make sure assets are created in conformance to corporate guidelines. At the point of publishing or delivery, however, the DAM serves as a repository for current approved content, simply enabling internal or external clients to access current assets in their publish-ready state. Another angle still is the type of content being maintained. The lowest common denominator tends to be images, but there's no reason that a DAM can't maintain text content or perhaps structured content such as XML or JSON. And there's a trend towards multimedia with video becoming a ubiquitous file type with augmented and virtual reality content pushing the boundaries. Some DAMs include robust features around things like image processing, video encoding, and server-side graphic rendition. Finally, there is a continuum between file storage solutions like Google Drive, SharePoint, Box, and Dropbox with DAMs. You wouldn't have considered Box a DAM solution when it came out, but every year it gains another feature that blurs this distinction. There are literally thousands of DAM solutions out there, and the good news is that they trend towards greater capability at less cost. The technology has generally become mature enough that there is a solution appropriate for the needs of any organization.